Hey everybody, I am doing my very first vlog and um, really excited about it. It's focused on fitness. I know this channel is mostly about fashion, makeup, and spirituality, but um, I'm embarking on a new adventure this year and I am focused on just you know my health and focused on you know losing the weight toning up just being healthy healthier overall you know mind body spirit etc um i think a lot of things really sort of pushed me into you know getting fit i mean i've always had a lean body i've always been no stranger to, to the hard work you know two years ago like before I got pregnant with my daughter I was very into kickboxing I mean I was training with a second dan black belt so not a stranger to to um, extreme methods of, of, of exercise at all um, I actually really like it um, however just over the years I just felt like I got lazy um, you know I got comfortable with not really I won't say comfortable as in I I I'm happy with the way that I look now, but comfortable in the sense that, well, I just felt complacent. Like I wasn't really wanting to do anything anymore. I was just so busy with, you know, being a mom and, and, and being an entrepreneur and running these companies and just putting everybody before me and not having enough time to exercise. During the summertime, I would do quite a bit of exercise. I would walk with my daughter in the stroller do squats and lunges and you know there's a ravine by my house so we'd walk around and it was really great but now it's winter here in in Canada and um, can't really do that much and I'm not really a fan of working out at home don't have a gym membership so I just really don't do anything and I said you know what enough is enough um, I don't know how many of you know of Elizabeth Lopez um, she is a world-renowned fitness trainer, model, um, holistic um, nutritionist. Like this, like when you see her body, like her body is just ridiculous. And I've known about her and her exercise program, Hourglass Workout, for a couple years now. And I've always wanted to attend, and I know people who have gone through it, and I've seen the transformational um, photos of the people who have gone through the program in three months, like people who who are probably double my size end up becoming smaller than than me you know and I just thought you know that's amazing because it's not really about losing weight and being skinny it's about losing weight in all the wrong places and keeping it in all the right places and so that's why it's called the hourglass workout and I thought this is perfect this is what I this is what I need because I've always been nervous of, of doing high intensity workouts in the sense that yes I'm losing weight but sometimes you lose weight in the wrong places ladies you know what I'm talking about so I realized that they just opened up their new location in Mississauga and several others in Toronto. I thought, okay, great. Like this, I have no excuse now. It's close to my house. I can drive by. They had a 25% off sale before January 1st. So I saved about $200 off of the three month challenge, which is about $600. So I paid 460 plus tax was about $500, which really isn't that bad. I mean, if you're doing personal training at the gym, you're gonna pay that much anyway. And when I saw the results, I said, you know what? No, like there's there's no way um, that I'm, I'm putting it off this year. No way at all. Um, so I said to my friends and family, you know, people would say, you know, what do you want for, for Christmas? And I said, you know what? Don't buy me any gifts. Just if you want to contribute to my workout fund, <laughs> then that's what you can do. Um, just give me the money and I'm just going to put it on top of mine and just use that as the gift from everybody and to myself and so that's what I'm doing and um, as I mentioned I'm not a stranger of hard work but what really scares me though is the meal plan um, I got an email today from Liza Beth just giving me options for which meal plan I want to use for the 12 weeks and when I opened the one that looked you know, like what I should be using, I was like, oh my god. It's, I think that changing the way that you eat is a lot more difficult than any intense workout you could ever do. 
Um, I'm a foodie. I, I love to eat carbs. I've always loved to eat carbs. And I, I, I never really liked doing things like Weight Watchers because I didn't want to be one of those people, you know, every little thing is like, oh, how many points are that? Or, oh, how much carbs is in that? Like, that's just ridiculous. Like, I just want to go out, eat, do whatever I want to do. I know it sounds bad, but, I mean, within reason. And when I saw the plan, I was just like half of these things I don't even own in my house that's the first thing second thing I'm just like I know it's food that's supposed to be good for you but then when you eat it it's like you always feel hungry after because you're not satisfied because it's not something that you're used to eating so I think that that's going to be my biggest challenge is not the the hard workout it because my body can get used to that no problem um, I used to run track in high school, play volleyball, etc. So that is not a problem. But when it comes to the eating habits, that's huge for me. Because even in high school, I can remember, even in element, going back to elementary, I remember one of my best friends says to me, you know what, Tamar, you eat like a pig <laughs> and you gain no weight. And it was because I was very active. I was a tomboy when I was younger. Um, when I was in high school, I ran track. And I've always had a lean body. It's that I notice when I get older, like when I was in college, um, you know, you put on the freshman 15 or 20, whatever they call it. And then I started my career, which I basically sat down at a desk all day. And um, that didn't help at all. And coupled with the fact that I'm used to eating what I want and not putting on any weight, but now I still eat the same way, but now I'm putting on weight, so it's difficult. So... I don't know, it's going to be a really, really big lifestyle change, and I think that's the part that scares me the most. I'm starting this plan um, next week, Monday, which is my birthday. I'm really, really excited to get started, but this eating plan just, like, has me throw it a little bit, because I'm just like, I don't know if I can do it. Um, so, I need your encouragement, guys. I'm going to do this for the full 12 weeks. Um... I will put up pictures, not right now, but um, I think when I get a little bit more into the program, a little bit more comfortable, I will come back and give my feedback and, you know, talk about any changes that I see in my skin, my body, um, etc. And, uh, you know, just take it from there. But I hope that this can be inspirational for a lot of the women out there, especially the curvy women, um, you know, the West Indian women who are you know, struggling with the same things that I've been struggling with, you know, you're very curvaceous, and that coupled with the fact that you're short or have um, shorter, denser bones, which um, quite a few um, Caribbean people tend to have, um, coupled with the types of food that we eat in our culture is just a deadly, like literally deadly combination. Um, cancer, seems to be rearing its ugly head in my family so that's another um you know that's another motivation factor for me I lost my my aunt um who's very very dear to me she was basically like my second mother I lost her to cancer in October of uh, last year um you know my my uh my dad's brother died of cancer Christmas last year or I should say 2011 then his daughter got diagnosed with cancer this like it's just it's just ridiculous and um, it seems like it's on both sides of the family but I am rebuking that in the name of Jesus I don't want that to come anywhere near me and I know that I'm still young I'm 26 almost 27 and I need to start making changes now not only for myself but for my family and my daughter especially um, so it's gonna be a long ride it's gonna be a real big journey and um, I'm going to come back every week, just upload these videos, and let me know what you guys think, um, if you guys have any inspiration or any feedback, comments, anything to sort of make this journey a lot easier uh, than, it, than it can be, then that would be appreciated. But that's it for now, guys. I am signing off, and I will see you in the next video. Ciao!